Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I have no idea what you can see. The sun is very bright, do hate, and my little screen is just a glare. Hopefully you can see this. <laughs> I'm in Hannaford's parking lot. I had to run in for meat. I almost briefly considered just going to ground beef for a while and not even bothering with roasts, but I ended up coming to get some roast, but I had been out of roast for a couple days and um, at least for yesterday, I can't remember if the day before too, I ate just ground beef and it was so easy and just, you know, just that one less step of having to slice my roast because I slice my roasts and cook them in a pan and I was like, I could skip that step and just take my frozen hamburger patty. I freeze in like one pound bags and sometimes it's a little over a pound, but I, um, you know, so I thaw that and then it's like square. It's like a shape of a baggie. When I put it in the baggie, I flatten it out so it makes a square thick burger and I can just cook just that one burger and flip it over and just let it cook nice and slow and do love it very much and I thought I could get away without having to cut any more roasts and I could not have to wash a cutting board and a knife. <laughs> That's how little work I want to do when cooking. I've always said, if I could take just a pill to stay alive, I would not cook at all. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't shop, I wouldn't buy food. I just would love to have nothing to do with it. It's all a big waste of time for me. And especially now with very little appetite, unless I'm actually hungry, it just seems like, uh, you know, I'm like, I don't have an appetite. And I'm like, I gotta go shopping, I gotta go buy food. But of course, I'm still buying for my mother. When I'm done shopping, for my mother someday, I will, you know, not hate groceries as much because it'll be meat department and out of there. Might stop by and get a bottle or two of salsa. And uh, so it will really make it easy. And even with my mother, even though she has a list, it does make me walk around the store. So I'll end up picking up a few other things that she probably doesn't really need. But, you know, I just just like to get stuff for her. So what was my point? So yeah, with the Hamburg ground beef, I, uh, or minced is what other people in other countries call it. I only need my frying pan and a spatula and my pie plate that I eat out of. <laughs> I would be down to three items. Certainly when I can't get beef at a good price of uh, roasts, I'm good with ground beef. I can almost always get ground beef at Rogers for $2.89, $2.99 usually the most. He hasn't gone up on his prices in a long time. I hope he doesn't. And the ground beef there is absolutely delicious. It's freshly ground right there. But the roasts, oh, and I didn't keep one to show you. Everything is in my trunk. I paid $2.49 per pound and they looked really good and I asked if I could have 10 roasts so while they cut that I did my other shopping and I got 10 roasts and I had her just add up all the roasts first because I was curious to see how much it came up to and it was uh, $96 I do believe and then do I have the slip? I got some other stuff. You want to know what else I got? I don't know if there was anything else for me. And when I say that, I mean that. I got my mother one donut and one muffin, two loaves of her Italian bread, her whipped topping. I got milk. She still drinks milk, and I still have it in my coffee a little bit. I got her a box of uh, Swiss rolls, those little chocolate rolled up cakes with uh, white stuff, uh, cream in the middle. Oh, I got cinnamon rolls for a concoction. That should be tomorrow's video. And uh, I got her some chocolate graham crackers, some corn syrup, some frosted shredded wheat, some strawberry, frosted strawberry shredded wheat cereal, molasses, uh, solid white tuna. I can have tuna, so that is like her and me. She likes to uh, have sandwich spreads. I got my 10 roasts, and then I got 
two bananas for her and two apples and a bag of potatoes. And I got my trash bags. We have town trash bags, orange bags, and we have to use those or the town won't pick up the garbage. And even if we go to the dump, we have to use the trash bags. And it's $10 for 10 No, I get 8 for $10. And, um... I can't remember. There's three different sizes. I get medium. I can't remember if I get eight or ten bags. I think I get eight. And so they're kind of pricey, the bags, but it makes people recycle because you obviously don't want to fill up your expensive bag with things that can be recycled. So it makes people separate. But we go through those bags because of all my mother's incontinence stuff. Plus, she's not that great at recycling. Like, she'll just throw stuff in her garbage, and I don't go through it. So I just, you know, put it in the orange bags. And then uh, somebody asked, what did somebody ask the last time I talked about it? They're like, well, what happens if you just put it out in a regular bag? They'll just leave it. They'll just leave it right there. They won't pick it up. And like I said, you can't bring it to the dump either. So... That's just uh, the way it goes. We didn't always have that. And then they did it once and people complained and had another vote on it or whatever. And it didn't pass. So they stopped, but then they started up again. But I'm used to it now. And that's uh, just the way it is. Can't do anything about it. The town wants it that way. And the town got it that way. I, um, I really wanted to wait until tomorrow to shop because... My mother's helper comes three days a week now, and I want to make sure that I plan my outings while she's there at the house because it makes sense, plus it gets me out of the house, plus I don't have to hear my mother chit-chat, and which can drive me crazy because of the stuff she comes out with, and so it's a good time to get out. So I really was going to wait until tomorrow, but then I... But then it was on my mind that, you know, I really did need milk. And I thought, if I go out for milk, I might as well go get the meat. So I got that done. I would like to hit Marden's again this week. I don't even know if any of the new fabric is going to make it to this fabric frenzy. The panels did. But I'm not sure about the fabric. I'm going to try to at least do a couple things. But I still want to go hit them up during the sale to see what else I can get. And to stock up on more panels for the next frenzy. I'm already planning ahead to that, um, so I don't really have that much else to talk about. What else? What else can I tell you guys? Is there anything? Anything at all? I just hate this sunshine, so I think I'll go home and I might whip up that concoction today. And since I don't like to schedule videos, it's possible that that will pop up later. If I go to Martin's this week... Maybe I could do that tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. But do expect a concoction, either today or tomorrow. And I guess that's all I've got for you right now. I hear talking. Be quiet. <laughs> all right. I'll be back with more soon. Thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe. Bye.